Assalamu alaikum. I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are planning homeschooling week and I am going to take you along how I plan my week. This time I'm doing it a little different. I've just made printables so that I can share these with you guys as a freebie and usually I make them by hand but a little effort. Okay, so you have to ignore the background voices and just bear with the content so let's start um this is a weekly thing usually i do plan a little more than this but now i am aiming towards certain things that i want them to perfect before going to school so i'm just uh, having them work through that uh, for maths that's uh, I am doing this for uh, grade 1. A buddy is 5.5 years old and she's going to be in grade 1 now. So she's just having her kindergarten review and uh, just perfecting those little little things before doing the big kid things. So I want her to perfect the addition and subtraction facts. So I'm working towards that and then other concepts, uh, we'll just work through that. I'll show you how we are doing it. So let's call this a summer school. <laughs> so kind of a review and perfecting those gaps before moving to the next grade. So I'll just share with you the worksheets. Uh, I have prepared some games and some worksheets. So let's start sharing. Uh, this is a worksheet. I want to see where she is at with ordinal numbers and um, she's pretty independent with following the instructions now and doing the worksheets on her own so I am just going to I like to talk to her that this is what you have to do but she can read I think so she will just read all these things and this is a checklist for her that she's going to fill up color the second fish green so she will see which one is the second fish so that is kind of they are up and down so that is kind of a test for them to see if they can really figure out she can say this is the second fish or maybe this is actually the second fish but if the child is confused they can say this is the second fish so that is how we are going to work through she is going to follow each instruction check it out and follow so I will know how, uh, where she's at with the ordinal numbers and then we will work accordingly next teen numbers so I just worked with teen numbers with her recently and uh, she has gotten the concept but I want her to practice more and uh, so this is the worksheet for that uh, her 10 frames 10 frames are the best way to get through the tens and ones concept so here she's going to fill the rest of the 10 frame the second 10 frame to make the ask number and then write the number words in kindergarten they do number words from 1 to 20 so i'm just having her go through that again so she will be filling up her 10 frames and then writing the number words in these boxes so again independent i will want to see where she is at and then we can work accordingly make the clock read i have uh, roughly taught her time but not an explicit teaching so i want to do that before moving on to that i have just taught her o'clock so i want to see how she is putting the hands is she having the concept of the long and the short hand so that's what i want to check and she will be making her clock hands for this one and then subtract and compare wait this is a game so i'll talk later about it this i made for my four year old and she's going to do it uh, i'll be sharing that in the next video but i am having her do this also because she's working her on her addition fact fluency so this will be a quick practice for her of, of the basics here she has apples and the correct apples that have the correct addition fact she is going to color them green and the apples that do not have the correct addition fact they are going to be red so that's how she's going to do that and then finger addition this is also going to be a quick addition practice i will talk about this in the 
kindergarten video again but she's just going to do it quickly quickly so this is again an addition practice for her and then subtract and compare this is a game a subtraction game how you play is usually these games i play with her to keep her engaged and make it fun and keep cheering her and keep pushing her to do more and more because she is going to get through 10 sums and she is also going to watch me do that so that's working on her fact fluency and um, if you play with them they will totally play the whole game with you so how we play this is we will roll two dice and for subtraction you can play the same game for addition but for subtraction uh, you have to tell the child that the bigger number is going to be the first number and you are going to subtract the smaller number from the bigger number so at this point they should have should be having that concept but if they don't have it you can just revisit that concept again with them so simple roll the dice roll one is this and roll two is this and they find the difference and then you take a turn player two and then you have to compare the difference for example they got five and you got four so they are having the higher difference so i like to make uh building blocks like we will take uh, the linking cubes or we will take uh, the wooden blocks to make a building so she will take one she has one block for her building and if i have the higher number then i have one block for for the uh, for my little building and then at the end of the game we have to tell uh, player one has this many times uh, higher difference and player two has this many times higher difference and then they have to compare both and circle the higher one and of course celebrate to get keep them going so that is how we play this subtraction game and i have played this kind of addition game with her and she really really enjoys it so i made one for subtraction also so i am going to link all these as a freebie for you guys you can just print them out and play with your kids this is the math part that she's going to work on and then for urdu uh, she's working on her handwriting she does some reading practice here and there but mainly i want her to build the stamina for writing for urdu and uh, work on her formation of the huruf and all that stuff so we have just finished uh, the let me show you the uh, nursery version of this this is a really good series i've talked about this in my video the curriculum video that i've shared before i'll link it down and uh, she has just finished this nursery one and this is working on simple uh, huruf only huruf like single huruf writing so now she is going to start her kg one the kindergarten one so she has to finish this over the summer and we will be really working on how to join the, those letters like huruf. So this is again, she's go I'll have to teach this and uh, she has her huruf formation nice and strong. So now this is going to be a learning for her, a new learning for her, how to join the huruf, which huruf have the choti ashkal, kin huruf ki hoti hai, I should tell this in Urdu. <laughs> Ashkal kin huruf ki hoti hai aur kis tarah join hote hain sara wo sikhana padega so that is what we are going to learn this summer so she is going to work on this and obviously we will have an edit practice so that she can perfect this kind of stuff so i'll just have you go through it there's quite a lot of writing <laughs> so there and then for english obviously she needs to have handwriting practice for that i am working on her skills also so that she is practicing her handwriting and she's getting those skills strong also so this week we worked on um, correcting the sentence correction like the uppercase letter was uh, the first letter was lowercase in these and the period was missing so she had to correct that and write it sentence writing itself is an art they have to understand that 
they have to you have to keep reminding them that the sentence starts with a capital letter it ends with a punctuation you have to leave a finger space in between the words so even though she knows all that she practices that but again it's a work to make her do this and i have to keep reminding her this doesn't come out like just writing <laughs> i have to keep reminding her even the letters where do they go and all that stuff so i just want her to be very strong with these things these basics before she moves to grade one and along with this she's working on her sentence writing unit you can know more about that in detail on my instagram i keep sharing tidbits of it over there and then she's also working on her dictation skills so dictation itself is a thing that you need to teach your children uh, for english and for urdu also currently i'm just working on english because i want her to be nice and strong with her urdu writing before i work on the urdu skills she has her letter formation on point and stuff like that that's why i'm having her grow in english uh, writing and i can work on other skills with her uh, since i know that she's fine with writing but with urdu that's a problem so i want her to perfect her letters first first and get easy with the writing and everything then we can work on the same skills with urdu also so this is all that i am going to do with her this week we have four days of school or five days of school and we even do school on weekends because we love doing school <laughs> so this is the main chunky chunky things that i want them to cover every day and then if they want more we just do a little bit of here and there so this is geared towards grade one kids who have finished their kindergarten and are going to be grade one in the next session so uh, i hope this video was helpful and i hope that you will use these freebies and these will be useful for you and if you do please send me a picture so that i can see i would love to see how you use them and uh, if you found this video useful don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon to get the notification of my videos inshallah until next time allah hafiz